Hello, in the previous part of this video, we learned about some of the most common used functions like is logical, is formula, is text, is number, and so on. In, in this tutorial, we'll be learning about a very specific function which is called cell. And this function cell helps us to find out about the 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 format of the cell or the or the the color of the cell or the alignment of the cell or uh, things like the file name and so on so let me start with the example i have listed a number of things that you can do with the cell functions like you can find cell address cell row cell column content width color format etc and i have got certain data here which i'll be using to explain you this cell function so let us say you want to find out the address of a particular cell so you go into the cell where you want the address and you type in equal to and then you say cell now the cell function itself has got two parameters the first is it needs the information type and the information type can be any one of this following like address call for column color contents file name format uh, protect row etc and the other parameter is the reference so the other value that it needs is the reference of the cell from where it will fetch any of this information so let us say we want to find the address of a cell so we select address so we double click on the address and then we put comma and now we need to specify the reference let's say we want to find the address of the cell f7 so we select f7 and then we close the bracket and press enter the answer that we get for the address of the reference cell f7 is dollar f dollar seven so that is the address of the cell if you want to find the row number of a particular cell then you can use the function cell and for the information type you can select row so you click double click on the row and then put a comma and then you specify the reference so let's say we want the row number of cell c7 so we select the cell c7 put a bracket and press enter and we get the row number of cell c7 we can see cell c7 is in the seventh row similarly we can find the column number of a cell so we say equal to cell open bracket and then select call for column and select the cell whose column we want to find out so for the reference we let's say we want c7 and close the bracket and then press enter and the column that it is returning for the cell c7 is third it's it's returning three because that's the absolute column number of the cell c7 c7 uh, is in the third column starting from the first a is the first b is the second c is the third it does not return c as the column name it just returns the column number now mind you we could have used a simpler function to find the row number and the column number we could have simply said uh, find the row so we type in row and then we could have put the reference of cell say f7 and that would give the same answer for the row similarly for the column we can simply type equal to column and give the reference so c7 and then close the bracket and we get the same answer as we get using the function cell and information if you want to find the content of a cell simply type in equal to cell and select content as the information type and then give the reference of the cell 
whose content you want to find out. Let's say we want to find out the content of cell C7. So we select C7, close a bracket and press enter. And the content is minus 175. To find the width of a cell, simply type in equal to cell and then select width as the information type. And then comma and then select the cell whose in whose width you want to find out. So let's say we want to find the width of cell B7. Then we close the bracket and press enter. Now it is returning 22 as the width of the cell B7. And let's go on this column B and just if we drag a little bit on the edge we see the width is exactly 22.00 however if I make it slightly more let's say 22.14 press enter and I recalculate using F9 and my width has not changed it's because it always returned the width in the in the nearest integer so even if the width was 22.4 or say 21.9 uh, it will return the width as 22 next sometime you'll have a, a number in a cell and a negative number and you would want to find out whether the negative number is having a colored font or not for that you can use this function cell and then say color as an information type and comma and then point to the cell whose information you want to check so let's say we want to check for c5 or actually let's move it to c7 now it has returned zero zero means the cell is not having a colored negative number if it was a colored negative number, it would return 1 as an answer. So if I move the reference to cell C6, let's see what we get. Now it's saying 1. And 1 means that the, the cell is having a negative number with a colored font. Next, if you want to find the alignment of a text, you can use cell with format as a Sorry, if you want to find the format of a cell, simply use cell and the information type as format and that will give you, select format, that will give you the format code of the cell. Now we need the reference. So let's say we want to find the format of the cell C5. So we select the cell C5, we close the bracket and press enter. And the format code says G. So the format code for this cell C5 is G. Now what does G mean? I have a screenshot here which explains the different format code. Now G, if you see, look into this list here, stands for general, which means that this cell C5 is having a general format. Now, if you want to find that the, whether the text is left aligned or right aligned, you can use the cell with the prefix as the information type. So you type in equal to cell and prefix for the information type and then uh, refer to the cell. So we want to find for the cell B5, whether it's left aligned, right aligned or whatever. So we close the bracket now and it has come up with a caret symbol. Now caret symbol means it's a, it's a centered text. Uh, next, let us say you want to check whether a cell is protected or not. And you can check, uh, you can protect a cell by first uh, changing the property of the cell from locked to unlocked or unlocked to locked. So it will return a value of 1 
if the cell is in a locked state and it will return value 0 if it is in an unlocked state. So to find that you just need to type in equal to cell and then select protect as your information type and then put a comma and then you point to the cell uh, for which you want to find out whether it's locked or unlocked. So let's say I point it to cell uh, B10 and close the bracket. So now it is saying that that cell B10 is protected or is in a locked state. Uh, if I move that reference to one of my input here and then press enter, I get the answer as zero. So it says the reference of E5 is in is not in a protected state or it is in an unlocked state. And you can actually verify that by going into that cell and pressing control and one together. So press control plus one and this window will come up and on the protection tab you see it is not locked. If I lock it, so I'm now locking the content of cell E5 and I press F9 to recalculate and you see the value has changed from 0 to 1. Now the next function uh, is cell type. So it tells you the type of the cell. If the cell is a blank, it will return B as answer. If the, if the cell is having some text or some constant value or constant label, then it will return I as an answer. And if the cell is having some numerical value or anything else other than text or blank, then it will return V as an answer. So let's type in equal to cell. We select that function. And for the information type, we select type, type, and then we point it to the cell whose information we want. So we point it to cell, let's say, C9. And then we close the bracket and press enter. And it has come up with V as an answer. So it is saying that cell is not blank. It is not a text. It is something else. To show you another example, let's move this reference to cell uh, C4. And now it is saying I. I means it's for constant or it or there's a label in that particular cell. That particular cell being C4. Now this is the most in, in, uh, important feature of an information function. If you want to find the file name or the exact file name with the full address of a particular cell, you can use this full file name as your information type in this function cell. You select or you write equal to then cell and then you just select file name as your information type and press comma and just refer to any cell in the sheet and close the bracket and press enter and now the answer that you get by using that function is it gives you a complete address of the cell so it contains the entire file name or the file address starting from the c drive user so on and then it contains a file name within the bracket here the square bracket which has apta uh, hyphen information functions dot xlsx so that's the file name with a complete address and after the the close of square bracket you have information function now that what is that that is actually the name of this seat i'm working in and i'm working in, in the seat information function so this function a cell with the full file name or file name actually tells you the entire and complete address and if you want to just extract just the file name, the short file name, you can then use other functions to extract the file name from this result here.